Hello, Diddy DJ, and today I have a small tip for you. Mm, I'm gonna show you how we can create a center line or a port surface like this. You can see um, this kind of port you normally see in the uh, engine manifold, manifold, and sometimes you want to create a center line or a port for some specific reason for remodeling or for some tool pad. For example, in this case, I gotta use the the center line of the port for for guiding the tool in the along curve tool and path you can see but normally when we uh, when we get a model we don't have this tensor line maybe the designer or the creator remove it so we just have the um, we just have the surface only like this oh sorry I'm gonna move it to level number two so you can easily see yeah, normally when you get a model, you just have something like this, only the surface or the solid. You don't have the the center line. You don't have this. So if you want to r r modify or you want to adjust the surface, I think you, you should get the, the, the center line. So if you want to make a swept surface or something like this, a, a center line will be very useful for modify, for make adjustment. Okay, so I make a video. So you can see how how I create a center line. Okay, uh, I have two basic type of port. You may have you may uh, encounter the the this is the round profile and this rectangle profile with the uh, um, routing on both end of the port. So this is two basic type of port you may encounter it during your work. Okay, so. Now I'm gonna show you how we can create the center line of this part. First, we go to the wireframe tab here. You go to the wireframe and you can see, look and see. You can see here when I expand the drop down list here. You can see we have a a curve flow line function. This function allow you to create the the flow line curve of the surface. Okay. Click, click on it again you can see um, when I click a surface you can see we have the flow line curve of the surface you can change which direction you want to create the curve the u vector or the v vector like this in this case I want to create a v the u vector of the surface and this run along the surface like this you can see but there's so many curve I don't need so much like this so we have many uh, ways to create a curve. You can select the distance between the curve, or you can select the number of curves you want to create. In this case, I want to make four curves. So I input four here. But you can see we only have three instead of four because I think there's two curves there uh, duplicated somewhere here. So let me try. You can see when I input two we have only one so at this position we have two curves at the same position so in this case I want four curves so I need to input five here and now I get four you can easily see that this one and this one this one and this one they are look like symmetrical along the, the center line of the port so that's what we want right Okay, and I do the same for this surface. Also, I need four curves, so I input five here. I got one, two, three, and four curves run along the surface like this. Okay, now we have uh, four flow like curve for each surface. It's run along the surface like this, and you can easily see that if we can create a surface run through this one and this one and another surface run through this one and this one and then we make a, an intersection we can get the center line of the port okay I gotta do it right now I go to the surface tab surface surfaces surface tab and I go f I look for the um, love okay I, I use the love surface function Okay, now I select two curves to create a loft surface. I will try with this first. 
the first curve and the second one okay you can see I have the, the first loft surface okay and I, I do the same for the next pair of curve this one and this one alright so you can see we have two loft surfaces this one I mark in red and this one I mark in green so you can see I have the red and the green surface here okay and the last step to, to get the center line we just we just want to we just create the intersection curve between this, this red one and this green one okay to do that we go back to the wireframe tab and we go to the curve here and we look for intersection curve at intersection so this function allows you to create a curve uh, at the intersection line between two surfaces okay we select the first one and the second one and remember to do, um, turn it into 3d mode so you get the curve and also remember to select the XZ level okay all right you can see I just create a intersection curve between the red surface and the green surface now I can remove this surface so you can see we got a center line here I will mark it in okay blue and I got it I make it uh, dust okay okay so this is the center line we just created you can see this dust in blue is the the center line we just created by uh, intersect the red and green surfaces okay and we can do the same for for this part first step we make two loft surfaces this is the first one using this curve and this curve right and we make the second one this one and this one Choo. and so you can see uh, again we have two surfaces this one and this one and you can see how they intersect each other so the last step we just go to the right frame and we select intersection curve here curve at intersection we select this one and this one yeah that's it so we have another curve you can see it look like the center line of the surface right okay now we can delete these surfaces I also want to change it to blue and dust and it's dust okay I also remove this so you can easy to see okay and we just create two center line of the surface the port surface and I got uh, I can turn on the level number two this is my original center line which, which I used to create the, the surface I use the swap function I use the swap function to create these two surface so when I turn on the original curve you can see it's exactly the same the same one so this way is is work working right so this is my tip for today very easy way to create a center line of port surfaces maybe uh, this will be useful in some case okay and that's all for today thank you for watching and see you in the next video goodbye